If you're still finalizing your 4th of July plans, you're in luck. We continue our look at Connecticut's Great Escapes with the Commission of Culture and Tourism. And this week, we're talking about great Independence Day events all around our state. Please welcome from the Commission, Randy Fiveash and Paul Broadhead, who is a direct descendant of George Reed, one of the 56 men who signed the Declaration of Independence in 1776. Welcome, gentlemen. So nice to have you here. Thank you. It's Hi. glad to be back. Thank you. And Randy, let's start with you because I think of all the celebrations that are happening around the state, we really want to get the point across. This is much more than fireworks and cookouts and hot dogs. There's a deeper meaning here. Well, it, there really is. You know, Connecticut was obviously there from the very beginning. And uh, the 4th of July really means a, a great deal for for the country, obviously, and for Connecticut in particular. So we want to make sure that it's, it, it's, a, great, it's a great celebration, a great time for celebration. But it's a great time to remember why it's, why it's a great time for celebration as well. Absolutely, and particularly the, the relevance to your family, Paul. I'm sure this always means a lot more than just a, a cookout and fireworks for you guys. Yes, exactly. Uh, it instills a great pride in me. And uh, to be a lifelong member of the DSDI, I realize that I have uh, a, a commitment and this 4th of July with the Sounds of Liberty, we'd like to uh, pretty much get some recognition for our heritage. The yeah, Sounds of Liberty is an event that's going on. We're talking about the Connecticut Connection. Four Connecticut men signed the Declaration of Independence, and your ancestor was actually representing Delaware. That's correct. And so you're going to be taking part in an event. It's called Sounds of Liberty in Hartford on the 4th of July. Yes. What time does that take place? Um, the event will be organized at 1.30, and at 2 o'clock we will actually start the bell ringing in unison with the other 13 colonies, 12. And the Boy Scouts of America will be synchronizing the bell ringing, and, uh, you know, we hope we get a kind of a crowd. It's, it's up to the public to instill that heritage with their children and to pass it on. And your role there, you'll be giving a speech as well? That's correct. All right. Well, Randy, across the state, there are a number of activities that are going to be taking place right. this week, and a big variety, too, for families. Let's start with yeah. the, the Boombox Parade in Willimantic. That's a, been going on a for fun, a while. What a fun one that's going to be. And it's been going on for 23 years now. And, and it began uh, because uh, there was some residents there that realized that there was, uh, there was not a, the high school in, in, in Willimantic didn't have a, a high school band. And so they said, what are we going to do? And so they... They thought, well, we'll we'll just all tune our rate our boom boxes <laughs> to uh, to the local radio station WILI uh, AM, and uh, and they began to to walk down the street and have their own parade, and so it's been going on for that length of time. It's just it's a fun fun parade. It's one of the best, uh, one of the most unique, obviously. And, and now 23, a, years 23 years later. 23 years later, what a great uh, what a great opportunity for people. Anybody can be in it. They okay. just have to wear red, white, and blue and get out and have well, some great easy. fun. Well, that's easy. Up north, what's going on in Enfield? Well, in uh, in in Enfield, uh, it's, you know, celebrating obviously the birth of the country there. Out on the town green, uh, they got live entertainment uh, there. They some great entertainment there. Uh, groups like Columbia Fields, uh, Dickie Betts, some old old Southern from me being in the South. Mm -hmm. Dickie Betts and Great Southern. Uh, Lost Lonely Boys, Southern, uh, Savage Brothers Band, wow. uh, and then then the uh, the Hartford Symphony is going to be there as well, and then the, then the fireworks show. So it's a great some great opportunities. And they have fireworks there. Sunday night. Sunday that... night fireworks. And then yeah, on the shoreline so. in Madison, the Madison Parade, right? You know, Mad the Madison Parade is is uh, recognized as one of the best parades in the in the whole state. And uh, it's, this is the 30th annual Independence Day Parade in Madison, and it'll kick off at 11 o'clock on uh, on Saturday. So, uh, and this one, one of the interesting things that goes on in Madison is a show your pet parade part part of it, and uh, <laughs> people get out with pets on on leases and and uh, all decked out in red, uh, white, and blue. Out. Let's have a great time. Yes, yeah, such a unique part of it. So it's a real fun. Real fun part, yeah. All right, so in let's see what else is going on as well. Mystic, well, and Mystic, yeah, Mystic. You know, Mystic Seaport obviously uh, is is a go back in going back in time. What what Independence Day would be would have been in uh, in 1876, and uh, it's kind of going back in time as a noonday picnic on Saturday on the Village Green. Uh, there's grilled hamburgers, hot dogs, all those kinds of things. Uh, then a children's parade that starts at uh, at one o'clock, but it really is a, um, uh, a an 1876 Independence Day ceremony and concert uh, by the Silver Cornet Band. So it was really a, a go back in time. Yeah, we of, saw the kind of photos of, of all the people oh, dressed up time. in years yeah, past. Fun, Classy's fun, always fun a great place to take the kids, but they have something special. Well, they've got something really special because they've got they've got an opportunity. They've got a 3D fireworks. And and 3D, it's, uh, 3D fireworks. fireworks. I didn't know those existed. Well, you, what you you can buy the uh, you can get the 3D glasses, 
and uh, and and have the opportunity then to see all the fireworks in 3D. So uh, at, at Quasi, so hmm. you know what a unique opportunity, something new. Paul's excited and, about that. He yeah, might go well, to Quasi after that's his right. event. <laughs> Absolutely, after the event, go down to go down to Quasi and do that. So so it's a little something there for everybody. I mean, it, all the you know the new technology, everything. You know, something new. So in uh, Litchfield. In uh, in Litchfield, you know, there's a turn of the century fest down there. With it. they also they'll have a pet parade. They'll have a sack sack races. They have period music. They'll even have uh, uh, something that um, well, you might enjoy. This this is a sunflower seed spitting contest. You think you'd enjoy that? That is I mean, so I right up my alley. Yeah, We're right up your alley. Right. We're I don't know. Practice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, of course. Uh, tug of war, the ice cream. So there's That's a lot fun. of a lot of different. Things and in going Norwich, on a big celebration yeah, going on and, there. Yeah, and then of course in uh, in of course in Norwich, there's a great a great celebration going on there. And uh, that uh, there were 350th anniversary, of course, celebration. There, and they're going to be putting putting on just an unbelievable show there I as well. I so. love how Randy comes with his notes, and you always keep us informed of everything going on around the state. There's a whole lot more. There's too. so much going on. That so I, listen, yeah. if you want information on any of these events, you can go to. CTVisit.com, CT right. or you can come to our website, WTNH.com, click on the Connecticut Style link, and we'll get you there. Randy Five Ash, Paul Broadhead, so great to have you both here. Great. Thank you so much.